Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fahrenheit, the Indica Prophecy. I'm happy that you could come. Mourning our parents with our brother here. John and Mary Kane. Witcher? I have actually never played that series. And as always, I'm streaming this, so... Lucas, I'm sometimes come on, talking. Lucas, come and play. You can't spend your whole life just sitting in the corner. Lucas. I hate the Wichita sequence because it's a forced stealth section. Lucas, you and coming? And those are bad in every game. I don't want to, Marcus. Leave me alone. I've about had it with you, Lucas. You're always off by yourself. You never talk to anyone. You never play with anyone. I'm starting to think maybe you're crazy. You're weird, that's for sure. Is that bad? Come on, do me a favor. Just play with everybody this one time. How about hide and seek? We could go play in Hangar 4. No way. You know we're not allowed to play in there. Who cares? We can get in through that hole in the fence like last time. Nobody will see us. We can get inside the hangar from the back door. Good idea. Let's do it. Are you coming with us, Lucas? All right. Okay, so now we have to go find them. Now, get ready for premonition time. Oh, oh, oh. The reason this premonition is important is because it actually tells you how to do everything. It hey, also boy. shows you are one of the it's guys is hiding. Marcus and the others will get caught in the fire. Quick, I've got to warn someone. We've got to save them before it's too late. What I would do is I'd go over to that soldier and tell them everything. What does Lucas do? He's crazy. Right. Gotta wait for this guy to pass. What is number three? Oh, for the map. I see. Okay, we're clear. It's gotta climb up over here. See, reasonable people would just tell an adult in this case. Now, obviously, Lucas is a little less than reasonable, but nevertheless. Oh, I forget. How is this done? Which way do you go? Because I have to run with you. Oh no, I don't have to run with you yet. Gotta try and slip over here. Now, how the hell do I get... I need to remember. How do I get through this? Obviously can't walk there because of that dude. I don't, is, oh yeah, I think there's a hole in the fence. Let's use the trench here. Good cover. Oh yeah, the hole in the fence is all the way over here, I think. Um, yeah, we have to use the truck there. Right, now I remember. Come on, let's see if we can't catch this truck. And there's a guy right there that will otherwise see us. Unless we do that. Yeah. Perfect. I didn't even fail once. Holy crap. I'm much better at this than I remember. <laughs> Either way. And it gets us through. Alright. Alright. 
Let's go. Now, the timer starts. Lucas, what are you doing here? I thought you didn't want to play. Get out of here now, Marcus. The hangar's going to explode. Huh? How can that- Don't ask any questions, Marcus. Get out now. It's about to explode. I'll keep looking for the others. All right. So, let's see. Where are they? I remember Fatty is over here, I think. Uh, no way, it's over here. Is it over here? Oh, uh, no way. It's in the boxes there. We saw in the premonition. Yeah, there we go. I remember him. There we go. Bug off, Lucas. You're going to give me away. The hangar's going to explode. You've got to get out of here right now. What kind of crap is this? You get out of here and stop trying to ruin the game. You are going to get out of the hangar right now. I'm not kidding. Shit, Lucas, you're a total nutcase. All right. Let's get moving. Let's see. Oh yeah, Fatty's over here. Oh, I'm too far. There. What are you doing here, Lucas? This get is a out. terrible hiding Nobody spot. Nobody wants to play with you. You need to get out of here, Kurt. The hangar's gonna blow. The ginger is my know brother. What you're talking about. <laughs> you're just a retard, Lucas. Threaten him. If you don't move right now, I'm gonna kick your ass. You think I'm scared of a little wussy like you? You wanna Here's fight? Yours is burning. Bring it. Smoke. Kurt, you gotta listen to me. There's gonna be a fire. You need to get out of here right now. I'm not kidding. Go on, beat it. Before I break your face, you jerk. Your mother sent me to find you. Oh, I'm yeah, right. It was wise. You're messing around in here. I managed to do the other two first, what? of course. My mom? You what say changes you if you let them die? Nothing. Dead meat. You, I'll uh, you can't. Later, freak. <laughs> It's like you fail if you let any of them die. And of course, because I forgot how that conversation went, I'm now a little short on time, so. Let's go. Let's see. Uh, yeah, there. Is it? No. He's behind one of these. Fuck, I'm short on time. No. Is it here? Yeah, here we go. What are you doing here, Lucas? Oh, fuck. The game's over. Everybody's gone. You can come out now. Oh, that's just great. Why didn't anybody tell me? Tick, 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 tick. Oof. Only just barely. Luckily, you don't have to run out after. Lucas, are you hurt? No, just a few scratches. And the others? I managed to warn them in time. They, they all got out. How did you know it was going to happen, Lucas? I saw it. I saw it before it happened. Don't ask me how. Wait, I don't even know who the you hell you're talking about as the ginger. I thought you thought this guy was the ginger over there. Lucas, I don't know who the hell you're talking Lucas? about the ginger is. But whatever. Lucas, can you hear me? I hear. I did a little checking around. Without giving your name, obviously. I was told about a person who was familiar with, let's say, unusual phenomena. I think that maybe she could help you. Here. This is her address. You know that I don't believe in any of this, Lucas. Luckily, I was the only I forced stealth section in the game, so... She can give you some kind of answer. I hope so, too. That's alright. Alright. Oh, uh, the ginger was the one with the, oh, like... Right. Blood red hair. Answering any questions, it just added yeah. wounds. Did the ginger is usually a freckles. In fact, the first that's one of the requirements to be a ginger. Just saying. Is there any link to the mysterious Kirsten case? Who sent me that email about Kirsten and why? This training session with Tyler is just what I need. I need to cleanse my spirit and just breathe a little. All right, then. Damn, you look a little out of it, Carla. You sure you're cool? I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? Okay. 
Let's warm up a little and go for it. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, sounds good. All right. Get ready for some repetitive strain One, disorder. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You laugh, but second, I'll be ready to fight. Ooh, it's hard work. All right. One, two, three, four, five, <sighs> six, <sighs> seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Oh, there we okay. go. I'm warmed All up. Right. I'm ready to get in the ring. Everyone in this game does indeed know Kung Fu. That's only half the warm-ups we have to do. Sadly. Fucking hell. Alright, now on to Tyler. One. out of rhythm. Part of the thing is you don't just have to be mashing really quick. You also have to get a rhythm. Because you have to hit each key alternatingly. So you can really screw it up a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Go the end. I'm in pretty good shape this morning. One more set and I'll be ready to get in the ring. You also have to kind of be able to do rhythm with that. That's the thing. And... Is it over here? No, you can't try it on the punching bags. I thought you could. Yeah. Each one of them can only use certain machines and stuff. Alright. Again. One. Welcome to Repetitive Strain Injury Two. Simulator. Three. Four. Um, five. This game, it keeps me in shape. Six. God, it's like going to the real gym here. Eight. Wow, I'm fucking up here badly. Nine. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm. There we go. A little bit. Eh, yeah, a little better. Yeah. Wow. Cool. I'm very bad I'm at ready this. To rock. All right. Okay. Well, let's get her into the ring then. You can choose who you fight as. And it doesn't even matter if you win or lose. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Las Vegas for tonight's match between <laughs> Terrible Tyler Miles and Killer Carla Valenti. Oh yeah, and who's always kicking out the crap about me acting like a kid all the time? All right, let's get ready. Let's kick some ass. Totally gonna hit with content ID for this, I'm totally certain. Goddamn. I'll have to edit out the damn music in the background. Uh, oh well. I apologize. There's totally no music, but you know how it is. Oh, 
Okay, very good. Maybe if I talk over it enough, it'll be good. Who knows? Down. Right, left. No. Okay, talking while doing this is a terrible idea. That's, like, really. That's, talking while doing a quick time event and trying to focus like that is incredibly tricky. Actually, I'm not doing too bad. Maybe it just takes a little practice. QTEs, man. It's the entire game, and it actually makes it extremely hard to commentate. If you can uh, believe me on that. But, you know. I mean, at least, these two have an excuse to know Kung Fu. I mean, they, they, you know, they're like police dudes. And, you know, this, this is like a utopian future where the police are actually fit and aren't fat and just use guns to solve all their problems. I mean, what? Alright, one more. I mean, I don't fuck up. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Pound. Shit, girl. How'd you do that? I was raised in a Shaolin monastery, and the monks taught me all the evil secrets of Kung Fu. What? No shit? Man, Tyler, you don't believe anything I tell you. Yo, nothing about you surprises me now, woman. You want to go again? It's... Let's let's not. No, I'm done. I'm gonna grab a shower and get back to work. Can't get that restaurant murder out of your head, huh? I just feel like there's a piece of the puzzle missing. You're busting your head for nothing. The guy's a there psycho. There are about End of three story. pieces of the puzzle yeah, missing that I've deliberately left left out of the investigation for sure my advantage. Never does it again. But, you know, we'll whatever. The guy who leaves that much evidence behind on a murder one, he's gonna slip up somewhere. I hope it's that simple, Tyler. I really do. Alright, Carlo Valenti. Police station. Oh no, is this so, the... So, how's that restaurant murder case coming along? We've got a few leads, but no suspects for the moment. There's some troubling elements about this case. We know right. it probably wasn't premeditated, and it wasn't done for money. What's your theory? Several elements match the ammo of a ritual killing or a mystical trance. The choice of weapon, the killer's cutting himself, the manner in which the victim was stabbed with precise cuts to the heart. All this points to a religious sacrifice. He might be a Satanist or something like that. Do you think there's much chance he'll kill again? Nope. I don't think so. He must be really scared by now. He knows he got lucky this time, but next time he can't count on that. I think he's gonna go into hiding. We're not gonna hear from this guy for a while. I want this nut job behind bars ASAP. Do whatever you have to do. So, what's the plan now? Check the local hospitals to see if they've had any men with knife wounds in. Check with all the psycho wards to see if they've got any ex-patients out on the streets who might have been capable of something like this. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. The book we found under the table. Garrett left it on your desk. See if you can make anything of it. Okay. I'll get on all that stuff right away. What are you going to work on? There's something that I need to verify. All right. Now... As far back as I can remember, I've been frightened by small spaces. Whenever I'm in a small, confined place, I start to panic. I have trouble breathing, and I need to get out right away. Bonus card. Yeah. You've heard the name. Claustrophobia. Well, I had decided not to let my fear control me. I decided to try and fight it every chance I got. I'm going to stay All calm. Alright, so now we have to do fine. a claustrophobia sequence. I'm going Where? to breathe deeply and walk without stopping until I find the computer terminal. Where we have to control Carla's breathing. Just to make things annoying. The A and D key alternately. What? If that's what the A and D key do, how do I turn? 
Alright, I guess I have to use the mouse. Okay. I have to control Carlos' breathing. Otherwise, well... She's fine. Should be a computer. No, the computer terminal's to the next one. No, I'm not getting through here. I keep wanting to use A and D uh, to turn. I have to use the mouse. Oh, right. I guess we can't do that. We need to uh, rotate this one first. It's sort of a puzzle right now. Basically, we just have to turn these various things to navigate and find things. It's pretty simple. We're good. It's not over yet, the obviously. But. Terminal. I can consult the file here. The save files are classified by year. The Kirsten files should be in the 1990s. It shouldn't be too hard to find. No, of course not. No, I have to... Oh, right. Power goes out. The electricity's cut. I just need to stay calm. I will control 1990, my 2000. So we need to get to that one. Alright. This won't be too hard. At least I don't think it will be. Keep breathing, on. Huh? Have to be careful not to lapse on breathing. <laughs> Also, I think if you fail here, you take uh, 20 mental damage or whatever. Your mental state degrades by 20 points. Alright. So. It's either 10 or 20. The point is, you lose a bunch of mental damage. So, trying not to fail here would be a good thing for me. Keep her breathing. I do it in bursts. Well, it's the most, most weird breathing ever, but you know. It works. Almost there. Starting with K. Just need to check to yeah. make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. Of course, the terminal's not actually on right now. We have to go turn on the terminal. On the other side. Ooh, kind of close. Gotta be careful. Alright. Terminal's not on, so we need to go turn on the terminal. Which I'm trying to remember what we do for that. The terminal switch, I believe. The thermal switch is right there. Can we not rotate you? Just to walk past you or whatever? I'm fairly certain the terminal switch is... Oh, whoops. Gotta keep breathing. Keep the breathing. Yeah, so that's where the terminal switch is. I gotta rotate you then. What's the matter? Why can I not do a rotating? I think I'm screwing something up. I have no idea. Let's see. Can I rotate this one? Oh. I can't rotate while I have a tape in my hand. That's why. Let's 
go to the terminal, drop the tape. Stop breathing there. Gotta be careful. Alright. And now we just need to check the file. Almost there. File is empty. No report, no evidence, nothing. Wait. There's the name of the detective in charge of the investigation. Robert Mitchell. 1988. Stored in the 1990s. Carla asked mistake. me to see what I could find out about the book we found in the diner. It might be able to tell us something about the killer. I inquired in the office, and I ended up in a bookshop specializing in old books run by a guy named Takeo. Alright, and now we have to do Tyler's thing. Yo! Uh, let's see. Excuse me? You lose something? I am sorry to cause a wedding on you. Your presence here bring honor to my miserable shop. Uh, my name is Takyo. Uh, tell me what I can do to make you happy. <laughs> Damn. This guy looks just like that old Chinese dude in Gremlins. If he offers me a wow. little box with a monster in it, I am gone. Uh. I was digging around in my closet and I found this old book. I thought it might be worth something. Ah, unhappy. I am but the worthless well of ignorance. <laughs> My tiny expertise extend wholly to books I serve here. Well, actually, I'm a detective with the NYPD. You, immigration? You come like my pickup? All paper store family is legal. You verify it. No problem. Okay, okay, calm down. I'm not here to bust you. If you no got warrant, you go now. This private property. Yeah, That's great it. strategy, Tyler. Nice work. <laughs> uh. Can you just take a look at it? You must have seen books like this one before. Ah, oh, many times, yes. I very sad to say, no can be helping you. Thanks anyway, at least I tried. Alright, <laughs> well, race the station to decide, it's not over yet. Ah, uh, maybe there is of something I can do for you. It's never over. One client order very rare book. Since this morning, I look for it, but impossible to find. You find this book, and I tell you all you want to know. So, what does it look like, this book? I wonder, is there a way to turn on subtitles? No. 
Controls. Power position center. No, there isn't, huh? Disappointing. Book you one. Ah, easy. It from same collection as this one. Okay, I ought to be able to handle that. Bring back the sacred diamond of the old sage of the mountain, and he will give you the magic talisman. Oh, man. What am I, in a video game? Yep, you are. Nice fourth wall break there, Tyler. Nice fourth wall break. All right. <clears throat> So, Di Grutola. That's important. We're also going to examine Lucas Kane's book. Uh, I keep flipping. Hang on here. Oh, no, wait. We have to use the magnifying glass, right? something handwritten in pencil here to my brother for his 18th birthday mk yeah you don't you don't oh, worry the Asian guy doesn't say anything relevant there that's all we needed to know i think and of course there goes that another key piece to our investigation a torn piece of paper looks Plus like 20 for a computer that. printout of a bunch of numbers Fell out of the book. Must have been a bookmark. You know, I have to wonder. People office. examined this book, right? How the fuck did they not find that sooner? Oh well. <laughs> so. D. Grutola, 1796. Okay. We got D. Grutola in 1796. We come over here. Seven. So we want to go to the third floor. Heck yeah. And A through E is white. So since it's D. Grutola, starts with a D, you will find it third floor white. I actually already knew that, but I wanted to go through and solve the puzzle because. You know, why not? It's, it's It'd be silly for me to just come up here and grab the book. There we go. Yeah, don't, don't, like I said, don't worry about the issue, dude. It, it, it gets really funny with him in a moment. Just wait. Once I talk to him again. Okay, here's your book. Oh, great. You found it. Thanks, dude. What do you want to know about that book? Is it just me, or did you lose your accent? Oh, yeah. That's for the customers. Ah, they love that wise old Japanese master stuff. <laughs> I was born in Brooklyn, man. <laughs> I never been no further than Long Island. Hey, I'm more American than you are, man. <laughs> All right. Is there any way to find out who would have sold this book? Nah, this book ain't worth enough for any seller to remember it. Yo, thanks for your help. No problem. Come by again, okay? Yeah, so. As it turns out, you get jack off and this really. You just find the bookmark. Ooh, 20 bonus. Ah yes, time for Agatha's house. Well, I'm gonna end this epo uh, I'm going to end this episode here, so thank you everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely host, Calvin, signing off.